Hello everyone, Richard Evans here from Windows Phone Central and today in this video we're going to be looking at the People Hub in Windows Phone. So in the People Hub is your main list of contacts and the main way you can access your contacts whether it be to send them SMS, emails or just to check up see what they're doing instead of going through a Facebook app or a LinkedIn app or any other social network which is integrated fully in Windows Phone. So as you can see here at the top we have uh, of course People Hub title and here is our display picture with the latest update from well my account in this case which is a tweet and you can pop into your location where it brings down all the information about yourself um, where you can post a message, uh, check in, set your chat status in Messenger as well as viewing all your notifications, uh, tweets and Facebook, as well as LinkedIn uh, notifications should you have that connected to your phone. As well as um, ourselves, we also have the list of contacts of course and with alphabetical sorting and filtering and you'd expect the usual commands and functionality for any contact to be present with uh, writing on the Facebook wall, sending emails, viewing where they live, what companies they work for, etc, etc, all brought down from Facebook and Live, um, should you have the information filled out and the accounts connected. And of course if you swipe across you can see what's new on their account, um, whether it be Facebook, Twitter, what tweets they've posted, what photos they've uploaded, and you can view all this straight through the phone without going into a Facebook app. And the beauty of it is you can, of course, comment, like, posts, um, tweets, everything. And you can view all the photos and, of course, view the history of your previous conversations with this contact, whether it be SMS or emails, etc, etc. So it's really, really integrated and is a superb experience compared to competitor platforms where you have to go into app and app and app and app. It's all integrated into the People Hub. Uh, which is a one of the main places you'll be should you use your phone for the actual phone functionality. So as well as the actual list of contacts, um, you're swiping across and you have the what's new area which is exactly the same as per contact but with this pane it actually shows all the contact updates in one area. So it's not just a single contact, it's all of them combined. And the beauty of this is you can actually um, uh, filter out the wrong area. You can actually filter out um, which accounts you'd want to show, so whether it be all of them or Windows Live or just Twitter, so you can just see just the tweets, which is really handy should you not like to be spammed by Facebook. Uh, of course you can refresh and we'll take a quick look at the settings now for the People Hub. So you can filter the contact list via of course the same as filtering the updates which is brought down. And you can also import your SIM contacts should you wish to do so. Um, of course, everything's stored in live when you uh, add contacts with uh, Windows Phone, so it's all handy when you move from phone to phone. You don't have to con uh, um, use your SIM card for storing contacts. It's all done in the cloud, and as soon as you activate your live ID on a new device, it will just simply pull all your contacts down and all the information as well, which is really handy. Um, as well as that, you can show posts from people visible on my contact list, so you can hide the contacts from accounts you'd rather not see, which is pretty pretty awesome for some people who simply don't care. Um, you can sort the list by first name and last name, uh, display names by first and last, uh, you can use the location to find nearby places, and save check-in history with Windows Live ID to improve search results. And then here you can see all the accounts connected which you can manipulate in the settings as well. So going back to the actual uh, hub itself, you scroll along, uh, scroll along and you have the recent contacts. So of course with this contact we just access them on the, the contact list, so that will be listed first. And then of course have next um, the next contact which I recently had uh, via email. You can see it lists them there. So it's really all integrated nicely. And that is the main part of the hub itself. So before we close this video off, a handy tile that you can post to your home screen, the me tile, 
which is your one-stop convenient access to everything about yourself, should you love yourself that much, or should you just desire your notifications easily accessible, so that's pretty cool. And of course you'll still receive all your toast notifications and whatnot from these services connected to your phone. So you can read up the full article on Windows Phone Central, and thank you very much for watching, take care.